the bisector of an angle of an isosceles triangle divides the triangle in two parts, at least one of which is similar to the whole triangle. Which of the following could be one of the angles of the triangle? Indicate all possible correct answers. So this is a multiple choice question where more than one answer will be correct. So we have to be really careful and, and consider all the different cases just to make sure that we aren't missing anything. So we start by considering this isosceles triangle ABC where AB is equal to AC. So angle ABC will be equal to angle ACB and, and let each of those be equal to X. So if each of those two angles are equal to x, what would be the value of the third angle? Well, we know that the sum of the angles of a triangle should add up to 180 degrees. And in this case, we already know two of those angles as x and x. So the third angle must be 180 degree minus 2x, right? And here x is in degrees. So the third angle is 180 degrees minus 2x. Now, in the problem, it is said that the bisector of, of one of the triangle of oh, sorry of one of those angles divides the triangle in two parts and it is not specified uh, which angles bisector. So in the first scenario I will assume that it's the bisector of the unequal angle. In this case it's angle BAC. So let's draw the bisector of angle BAC. Uh, it meets BC at the point D and it basically divides the triangle, the isosceles triangle into two triangles. And it's well known that the bisector of the unequal angle of the isosceles triangle divides the triangle into two equal triangles. And each of those two triangles may not be similar to the whole triangle. So this is a special case where, uh, you know, that a smaller triangle is similar to the whole triangle. But the two triangles that the bisector of the unequal angle divide the original triangle in two are congruent to each other because it's essentially the median. So AD is the median of the isosceles triangle and that's a very well-known result. However, the special case here is that, that those two smaller triangles are similar to the bigger triangle. And what similar triangle means is the angles of the triangles should be the same. So consider now tr the smaller triangle ABD and the bigger original triangle ABC. They already have a common angle, which is angle ABC or angle ABD, right? So now for triangle ABD to be similar, to triangle ABC, its angle BAD must have to be equal to angle ABD because in the original bigger triangle, it had, remember, it was an isosceles triangle, so its two angles ABC and ACB were equal. So now if I'm saying that that smaller triangle ABD would have to be similar to the bigger triangle, then angle ABD must have been equal to angle BAD. Well, the question is, what's the value of angle BAD? Well, we know that AD bisected the angle BAC into two equal parts, right? So each of those parts must be half the total angle BAC. So the total angle BAC is 180 minus 2x, half of that will be 90 minus x. So angle BAD would be 90 minus x. And from the similarity, statement, angle ABD will have to be equal to angle BAD because that smaller triangle is similar to the whole triangle. So we can write X is equal to 90 minus X and it's pretty easy to solve for X here. X would come as 45. So 45 degrees seems to be one of the correct answers. But have we considered all possible choices yet? Well, we have considered one of the cases where the bisector belongs 
to that unequal angle of the triangle. So now consider another case where the bisector would be that of one of the two equal angles of the isosceles triangle. So we draw the same triangle ABC, same meaning. It might be for different dimension, uh, and the angles may be different, but we still have AB is equal to AC, and we still start out by assuming angle ABC is equal to angle ACB and assign the value of X to both. And now we consider the bisector of one of the equal angles. So let, let that be angle ABC. And by the way, angle BAC is still going to be 180 minus 2X, right? So if we draw the bisector of angle ABC, let that meet AC at the point D. So we have now a triangle BDC, which we consider to be similar to triangle, the original triangle ABC. Now, this angle DBC, that's in red, so that has to be half of angle ABC because BD bisected angle ABC. So that has to be equal to X by 2. Now, since triangle BDC and the original triangle ABC are similar and they have a common angle, in this case it's angle ACB that's common to both angles, then angle BDC would have to be equal to angle BCD, right? So both have to be X. So now in triangle BDC, the three angles that we have is X, X, and X by 2. And those should add up to 180. And solving for that is pretty trivial. We get X is equal to 72. So the correct options in this case are 45 and 72.